Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday, Rewards Day. I'm actually recording this on Wednesday night, so I'm looking around the market for any deals that I can find right now. The market's pretty high, um, so there aren't a ton of deals, but I'm trying to find them um, where I can. Uh, but that's not what I wanna talk about today. This video is gonna be related to what is coming up this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And that is the big event that EA has been tweeting about all week that we have seen um, promoed. Uh, I don't even know if we've seen promos in the game, like a uh, not a loading screen, but any any types of. Uh, I'm sure we'll see something this weekend. But it's basically about the Foot Champions Cup April. We're gonna head over to um, the the web page and take a look at this. Um, and basically, what I want to talk about this is the potential for some market moves. Now, to preface this. You guys know, and we all know very well, the market has gone up so much this week, and that is because coming out of this promo, people have coins, people open packs, there were no major icon SBCs that people could sink their coins into. So people had a ton of coins, and we saw the market rise a ton during this week. A lot of people bought into the foot birthdays, all that kind of stuff. So we know the market has coins, and that's why I wanna to talk to you about uh, some of the moves in the market that could happen this weekend because of the Foot Champions Cup. So basically what this is, a lot of you guys already know this, but it's basically just the big one of the big tournaments throughout the year that EA holds for its pro players. And this is like one of the bigger ones. So you have to like earn points to get into this event, you have to qualify for it, um, and all kinds of all kinds of stuff. And it's basically it's a three day event. They have the live Twitch drops going. They stream it live on Twitch and YouTube. Um, and this is a pretty big event because the winner gets fifty thousand dollars. It's one of the mo more hyped up events um, through the pro schedule. So it's going on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, and there's going to be a lot of games going on live stream. They're going to be dropping packs. They're going to be dropping cards, um, like viewership rewards and all that stuff. But that's not what I want to focus on. I want to focus on what some of these pro players are going to be using in their teams. And every single time this year there's been a huge pro event, there has been a couple of players that come out of that promo that really get hyped up. Um, obviously, when the team of the year is refreshed, there was a there was a Foot Champions event, I believe, um, that was um, it was like right after Team of the Year, a couple a couple days after Team of the Year, and you saw a lot of these Team of the Year cards. Uh, they were already high, but they really, really just took off because people saw how incredible some of these Team of the Year cards were. And it might have been in February. I think there was one in February. And you see Neymar just going an intense climb here, up to 5.2 million coins on Xbox because people really realized that this card was the real deal along with Mbappe. I think from that tournament in February or January, one of the two, um, people really realized that Neymar and Mbappe were some of the best two players uh, in the game and I'm not thinking that these two players will do the same thing this time I want to take you back to the foot champions cup at the end of November There was a foot champions cup event at the end of November and this Neuer card was uh, Showcased in a lot of the pro teams squads and this is the type of thing we're looking for this weekend This is what I want you guys to be on the lookout this weekend as you're watching the games as you have the stream on If you're trying to be in the stream to collect those pack rewards or to cheer on um, your your favorite pro player um, This is the kind of card that we're looking for to see somebody use if you see a couple of pros or let's say they're showing on the stream um, a couple highlights. I don't know if these guys will be able to use foot birthday players. Um, I think they have every card in the game at their at their option. Obviously, they're gonna be using team of the years. They're gonna be using prime icons or prime icon moments if they're able to use those, which I'm sure they are. Um, so basically, we're not looking for people that are using the Hullets, that are using the R9s, that are using the Vieras. We're gonna be looking at people's teams in the event that win games, that do well, and that get the, the TV time or the time on the screen that are using different cards. So a couple cards, I don't know if they're gonna actually end up using these cards uh, in the event, but this Eder Militao card, the pros had to use some, they had some squad restrictions for um, the qualifiers for some of these events in the, the weeks prior. Um, and this was a card that a lot of people used. I would be very interested to see if since this card has really gained popularity, you can see it right here in early March when the qualifiers were going on. 
he went from around his usual price of 270 one weekend he maxed out at 315. I would be very curious to see if somebody uses this card this weekend either as a super sub CDM um, or they use them in their team. Um, this card among, among many others could benefit from this type of event. Obviously this card's price is pretty inflated but 283 is not too bad considering how you see him how high he got here. And if we look at this Neuer card, Neuer was 150k, got publicity at the event and went all the way up to 222k in the week after that before we headed into uh, kind of like the panic sell and we had some I think we had Champions League games right here that's why his price went back down. Um, on the Neuer, but you see how big of a rise this is. This is maybe some of the movements that we could see this weekend. So I really want you guys to keep your eyes out on um, a card like this Eder Militao card because I hear a lot of people talking about this. And if they're able to use foot birthday players, um, maybe a Bale would be somebody that a lot of people would be using. But the the real investment opportunity comes in a card like this or like Militao that is. Somebody who's less than a million coins that a lot of people could afford uh, on the game. So basically, that's what I want you guys to have an eye for this weekend. Um, maybe it's a foot birthday card. Maybe it's um, just some type of card that has gotten an upgrade. Maybe even it's uh, like the, a Rashford card. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what some people are going to use, but it all depends on if they're successful in the tournament. Some of these pro players use ridiculous substitutions. Um, they will use a Rashford or they use some crazy players that they are just very good with um, that is not like a it's not a team of the year it's not a prime icon moment um, and they will use one of those players in game let's say they win a game they get a little bit of TV time you see Mike LaBelle up there drawing on the screen looking at their squad pointing out that player that's when you want to take some action if you see uh, that uh, like a different player in the team you're gonna want to head to footbin get a look at that player's price and kind of that's one way that you can monitor the, the market this weekend um, I have my eyes on this Millie Tal card because I do think it has a possibility to show up either as a CDM sub uh, into a team or maybe somebody has him starting at center back so and that's one thing that I want to watch and see this weekend um, and just as well as um, Keeping an eye on what icons do well. Obviously, you're going to see people that are playing with Hullet, that are playing with Maldini, that are playing with R9, but maybe somebody comes in and has a crazy good game with like a Prime Moments. Um, I'm just thinking of a random example here Prime Moments Bird Camp. You know, maybe somebody comes into the tournament and this card, which is this is not a real representation of his price right now, but somebody goes off with this Bird Camp card or somebody goes off with another Prime Icon Moments. It's more of a, a cheaper Icon Moments card. Uh, that's something you could look for to possibly cause um, people to go try and buy that card. There's going to be a lot of people watching this event this weekend just because of the Twitch drops they are going to have. Now, I haven't seen them tweet this, but they tweeted out that um, earlier in the week there was going to be a Twitch stream that revealed what the drops are going to be. And I don't think I've seen them tweet it, but I was watching that Twitch stream and I do know what the drops are going to be because it was Jimmy Conrad who, who was uh, releasing this on stream. They're giving away a lot of cards this weekend. So the Carnival Neymar, Neymar, they're giving away five of these at one drop on Friday. Also on Friday, they're dropping. Um, let me just let me just Randall uh, like put them off to you guys. There are three special cards each day, or three special cards in total, one each day. Three icons in total, one each day. The icons are Maldini. Um, they are Henri, the the Prime Moments version, and I honestly forget the last one, but uh, they're they're all very high level. It'll come to me here in a second. And the other special cards were oh, the last one was Best, so it's Best Maldini, um, and Henri. Those are the Prime Icon Moments that will be dropped during the Twitch Foot Champions Cup, um, and then these special cards are going to be that Neymar, the FFS OR. Uh, Hassam Awar, the last name that nobody knows how to pronounce. So this card right here, the uh, Foot Future Stars version of Awar, that's going to be another special card dropped. And then the flashback version of Fernando Torres. They're going to be dropping five of each of those special cards, and I think five of the icons as well. And then a lot of packs, like they're dropping 10,000 packs uh, per day. I think they're like 25k or 45k packs. And then on the final day, they're dropping... 
uh, 5,100k packs during the actual final game. So there's going to be an, some incentive for you guys for being in there watching the event. And there's going to be a lot of people in there watching the event. I would not be surprised, again, if we see 50 to 60,000 people consistently in that live stream. Uh, because the rewards and just because the EA has been hyping it up all week. I don't think we're going get to get a promo this weekend. Uh, so I don't imagine any type of anything else going on in the game besides uh, what's going on in this this foot champions cup there probably will be some in-game SBCs uh, if you're a guy that likes to trade with uh, the low like the gold uh, SBC investments like the cards under a thousand coins uh, definitely think about picking up a few cards the event is based in London uh, so maybe pick up some English cards maybe pick up some Premier League cards um, or some French cards or you know just a lot of uh, there's a possibilities it could be um, SBC investments for a very very low budget but I'm really trying to look through a lot of these special teams right now and maybe come up with what card just could be used this weekend and I think if they are able to use foot birthday I think you might see one or two of these cards make its way into the game I don't talk to a lot of pro players I don't know what's going on uh, in that scene but uh, I do think a couple of these cards could make it in. Uh, maybe a right mid Marcelo. I could see maybe somebody throwing him in for chemistry reasons. Uh, Bale minus his weak foot. Uh, maybe a Griezmann for chemistry reasons. I don't know. Since these cards have position changes, I feel like we might see a few of them make it into teams, especially Van Dyke. Uh, especially Van Dyke. He could provide. He could that could get you a Van Dyke in your team. Um, you could link him to a Hullet. You could link him to a Cruyff. So that type of thing um, would be able to get a Van Dyke on full chem at like a center mid or a striker spot where it might have been harder to get him on full chem before if you were using like an entire La Liga back line. So that's something I'm, you might want to keep your eye out for. Um, other than that, I do think it's going to be uh, just another weekend of the Foot Champions Cup live stream. So if you're interested in that, take... Uh, Take that with what you will, but again, there could be some cool market movements. Again, I like the Militao. I haven't seen that Neuer come back as much because everybody uses De Gea now. Um, you're going to see a lot of De Gea's at this event, most likely. I haven't seen this card too much throughout the rest of the year, but again, even if you do see start to see a card that you, it's kind of like an outlier. Like maybe, uh, maybe from this Foot Birthday Squad, people start using this Sane card or this Douglas Costa or this Koulibaly possibly. Um, that could be something like Koulibaly maybe is 200k tomorrow after weekend league rewards or today after weekend league rewards and uh, his card with the extra hype of the event gets pushed up to like 300k that is totally totally possible uh, based on what happens on the event so again all, all that to say watch the event um, or just have it on in the background at least if you don't like watching the pro events or you just want to have a chance at um uh, you know winning one of those twitch drops uh, That is just an option for you guys to watch the event this weekend and to possibly make some coins off of it Just to see what happens and especially maybe even one of these like man the match cards Like if you see this 98 Messi uh, in there for some reason because the the Messi that is in team of the year the his best version is a center forward so if you see any of these special versions of cards that are that are we uh, not team of the years are not icons uh, take special notice of that, and there might be a coin opportunity, uh, coin making opportunity with those cards. But again, Foot Champions this weekend, that's basically going to be the, the entire weekend on Foot. We haven't got content in the past couple of days. I don't expect that we will get, we will get anything else. Um, but watch that event this weekend, um, and uh, maybe we'll be able to uh, make some money off of that. That would be pretty sweet if we were able to trade with new popular and hyped up players that were used at the event by pro players on this game. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and hopefully your weekend league flips are going well at this time. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.